You look different. City life not working out for you. When we find young Jay, he's on his way back to his hometown of Jardine after spending uh, several years in the city, uh, climbing the ranks as a police officer. And he's decided to come home and um, try and give back to the community. Welcome home, Jay. Peter. Also uh, rebuild his relationship with his family, in particular his father and his brother. You think because you're police, you can talk to me like this? And all of that being cut short by what he thinks is a crime. And that crime sort of sets him off questioning you know, the entire community that he thinks he knows. You're right. We've got a kid in the car. They're called stop signs. I think Mary's a really beautiful character because she's really headstrong and quite fierce, but it kind of masks this very deep sense of vulnerability and this wanting to be loved. Did you do all that to ask me out on a date? Well, yeah, maybe. One of the things that we see her going through throughout the series is opening up quite a big fracture in her life, quite a big wound, and trying to come to terms with that. She's really sick. And it's not going to do her or anyone else any good to drag that pain up again. My character is, is Peter Lubrick. He, as a, a retiring sergeant, he's right at the end of his career. But he's still maintaining that he's never changed. Stop swinging your dick around like you're in some sort of investigation because you're not. He loves Jay. If he had a son, that's the sort of love he... he has for Jay, but he's, he's, you know, he's a man who can't express himself. Man, I was sitting in there and I was like, who's this flash fella? Patrick is very good friends, good, very good old friends with Jay, very uh, close with Jay's father, Jack. Um, Jack was a surrogate parent, pretty much raised uh, Patrick before he was shipped off to private school. First time he took me roo shooting, I was seven. Seven-year-old with a gun. <laughs> Patrick is the brother of Geraldine Southwell. The Southwells very much supported and encouraged the mind to come to life, shall we say. Um, the Southwells are generational miners, uh, in, amongst other things. Patrick is indicative of many parts of white Australia. You know, the generational wealth without uh, acknowledgement or uh, acceptance of how that wealth came to being, the leftover broken uh, community. Patrick and his sister cannot come to terms with that. Chains for hanging around people's necks. Well, people pay good money for real history, so. Letitia is a deadly black woman from a small town uh, who also has spent a lot of time in the city at university. Uh, she's a young mum. She is a very fiery woman. She has her purpose and her goal that she wants to reach. She's kind of gotten a bit lost along the way. Don't you ever tell me that I'm not a black fella. I play the character of Abe Stout. He's the uh, Crown Prosecutor for the town of Jardine and comes from a long line of law enforcement, mainly cops, going back uh, generations. There's quite a, a tumultuous um, relationship with the Indigenous community in the yet. town. Who got in your ear about this? No one. I'm not talking to you about this. Xavier is Mary's younger brother. Uh, he has a two-year-old daughter, Anya, with his partner, Letitia, and they live uh, with his mum. They all live in the same house with Catherine. He doesn't have much luck with cops. He, there's one cop in particular that bullies him. Turn around. I have the pleasure of playing Constable Cindy Chung. She is a rookie cop in Jardine. Did they find what they were looking for? What I spend the most time doing is navigating this fractious world that is Jardine and the politics that go on there. I think Jay is a very interesting character because of um, the complexity he faces uh, in walking two worlds. Black fellas don't make good boys. It's too much obligation. But for somebody like Jay Swan, who's sort of, he's young, he wants to believe in being a police officer. He wants to kind of believe that he can do the right thing, he can make a difference, he can, he can bring about positive change. And when he starts to see the irony and the hypocrisy and the contradictions around being a police officer in the 90s in a, in a town like Jardine, that's really confronting, I think. I can't move in Jardine. 
I don't have the authority. 